Hello and welcome to another episode of Blasticated Painting and this is just a special video I'm throwing out during Monster Month in honor of Halloween and today we're going to do something different. We're going to build a uh, little terrain piece. That's different. So today I wanted to just kind of make something and build something so we're going to do a quick little terrain piece. Um, something you can throw on your table, uh, ideally for silver bayonet, which is what I'm going to use it for. So first we're going to start with some chipboard. I just picked this up at Dollarama. Um, it's a pack of five sheets. It's really good stuff. Um, I'm just using a knife here to cut around. The knife didn't, uh, it's not working so well. What you want to use is an X-Acto blade instead. Like this one here. This works out much better. Once that's all cut out, I will use my X-Acto blade to just bevel the edges here. I could get a sander out and do it that way, but this is just as easy, considering we're going to be covering it up. And I went out into uh, the yard and I got some twigs. These are just twigs from the yard. And I cut that one flat. And then I also printed out uh, this carriage and um, figure out a way to glue that down on here. I kind of want it sunken into the earth. So I'm going to glue down two stones here. These are also just from outside, just grabbing stuff. It's always nice to just salvage stuff because that stuff is free. And I glued those down to the base and then I glued the carriage onto it so it's sort of, sort of on its side a little bit more. And I had an extra two wheels to put on here so I'll put one of these wheels on it so it's just a broken down crappy old carriage then I'm going to mix up some sculpt -a mold so this is uh, a really great product there's also recipes to make your own online um, I'm just gonna mix this up with some water until it's like a thick very thick sort of uh, chunky mashed potatoes which sounds disgusting but that's kind of what it's like and I'm just going to put this all around the base. I'm going to throw some indents on here as well. I'll turn those into puddles afterwards. Just use my finger to kind of create a rough area of where that'll be. Then I'm just going to take some extra stones and just press those in while this is still wet. All of that will act as a glue. This stuff should not come off. I'll take this extra wheel here, um, try and figure out a placement to make it look broken, kind of snapped off. So I'll just uh, press that in as well. Once I've done all that, I'll leave that sculpt mold to dry. I don't know if I'm adding too much water or not enough water. A lot of people say uh, it dries in like a half an hour. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Unless I put it out in the sun, it takes quite a bit of extra time to dry. Um, you'll also notice that the tree that I was making, I put a lot of extra limbs off. My, my four-year-old broke those right off. So <laughs> going forward, there's less limbs on the tree. Which is why I didn't show you how I was making the tree, because uh, kids destroy crap all the time. At least mine do. So I gave this entire thing a spray of black. So we're going to take any uh, craft brown paint. I love craft paint for terrain um, because it gives it variation very easily because it doesn't cover very well. Because it's a bad paint actually helps us and I took a gray paint that I just mixed together and this is going on the tree 
Everybody thinks trees are brown. Um, I live in southwestern Ontario, and a lot of the trees just look very gray. They don't look all that brown. Then I'm going to take a green paint, and while that gray paint on the tree is still wet, I'm just going to add some dabs to that. Then I'm taking some of that gray and the brown and mix it together, and I'm just going to put this on the rocks here on the base. And I'm going to take a tan color. This is going to be my color that I'm going to use for wood. This is going to go on the spokes of the wheel, and also um, there's a seat on the back of the uh, carriage that this will go on. I'm going to take some Christmas red here. This is, again, just crappy craft paint, and this is just going to go all over the carriage. Once again, you'll see that the coverage here isn't that good. We're not concerned about that because this is just going to be a destroyed carriage out in, like, the bog. So we're not... We don't want it to look perfect. We're going to take some silver paint and some black paint. We're going to mix that together to make just a dark silver. This is going to go on. I The tree is right in the way of that shot, but we'll leave it because I like to show how professional I am. This is just going to go on all the, uh, the wheels and the spokes and any of the uh, suspension of the carriage. There's also uh, two lanterns here. I stuck one of these lanterns down into the ground before uh, it dried as well. Um, this is also going to get that silver. Then we're going to take some gold here, and this is just going to go on all the embellishments on the uh, carriage. Then we're going to take a brown wash that I just make here, and this is going to go over the entire uh, terrain piece. Almost said miniature. If you're interested in learning how to make the wash, um, you can look up online. There's lots of videos on it, but what I use is acrylic medium and flow improver and inks and water. That's it. And you can make washes that are really good, especially for terrain pieces because you're going to be using so much of it. It's much cheaper to make your own. Then I'll go back to that original brown color that I use and I will dry brush this on the base. It's okay if this is not the best dry brush. It's okay if it's wet. It's okay if it's thick. All we're looking for is variation. And we're going to take that same uh, gray color that we made for the rocks, and that's going to just go on the rocks. And the same with the tree. We're going to get that gray color and just dry brush that onto the tree. We're going to take some Elmer's Craft Glue. We're going to put this all over the base, and we are going to add some uh, static grass. Just a little bit of this, not too much. We basically just want this as a base to the rest of the flock that we're going to be putting on after. Then we're going to just take some of that mix green flock that I use. I think it's a autumn flock and summer flock. I mix that together. And then this is going to go all over as well. Right on top of that uh, static grass we already used. I'll take some black and just re-black out those windows. We're going to take some craft glue here. Put this on little patches in the trees. And we're just going to add some of that uh, flock on there as well. Just to act as like moss. We're going to take some Vallejo pigments here. This is faded olive green. We're going to put this um, just in little areas across. We'll put it on the uh, on the carriage. We'll put it on the ground. But mostly we're going to focus on the holes that we created earlier.
We're going to take some water gel swamp green here. This is from AK Interactive. And we're going to fill those holes with this. And that terrain piece is done. We'll give it a matte spray. Um, if you do use a matte spray, you might want to put on uh, an extra little bit of that green gel after because the matte spray will take any reflectiveness away from it. But as terrain pieces go, this turned out pretty cool. This was just a quick little video that I had time to do during uh, my incredibly busy month of October. I just wanted to do um, something a little different just for the fun of it because October's monster month because of Halloween and we're just kind of having a good time. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And just a reminder, please go back and watch the Cad Bane video. Be a subscriber and leave a comment on that video. We are going to be doing a draw at the end of the month and someone's going to win that miniature and I'm going to send it to them. And remember to please like, share, comment, subscribe. You guys have a great day. Buy those products. There is an initial investment, but buy those products and you can make way more wash than you could, than what you're going to spend buying it. This is, that's not English. Then I'll take, go back to that. Uh, blah, blah, blah.